So when everything on earth dies, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys the universe. Rasulullah tells us that our Lord will be angry in such a state of anger which he has never been before. Allah, there is an attribute of his which is anger. But when we describe something, it's not from our minds. We describe it as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described himself. Or as the Prophet said, but we always add to it the following ayah. لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ There is nothing like him or can be compared to him. And he sees and hears all things. We don't know. He sees is unlimited in his seeing, but it's not like ours. He hears, unlimited in his hearing, but it's not like ours. Allah is angry, but it's not like our anger. In a manner that befits his majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do not deny these words, for he said them, and the Prophet ﷺ said them. However, we cannot describe them, except the way Allah and His Messenger describe them. The point is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in a state of anger, in a manner that befits Him. And why wouldn't He? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us every opportunity to earn great rewards. He was generous with the hasanat. He was generous in coming to us. says, Abdi in taqarrabta ilayya shibra. Taqarrabtu biha ilayka ashra. If you come closer to me, a palm. I will come close to you, to you ten. If you come walking to me, I'll come, I'll come hastening to you. So on, so on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, many ways. A hasana bi ashri amthaliha. If you do one good deed, Allah will multiply it into ten folds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies for whoever He wills. There are some of you who get more than ten. The sayyah, the sin is only one. You do a sin, it's only one. You do a hasana, it's multiplied by ten automatically. And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us all these opportunities. He gave us the ability, the faculties of our body to do this. He guided us, sent messengers to us, granted us His mercy, His forgiveness. Abdi. لو أتيتني بقراب الأرض خطايا ثم أتيتني لا تشرك بي شيئا أتيتك بقرابها مغفرة Oh my servant, if you come to me on a day of judgment and you have sins as much as the earth but you don't make partners with me then I will forgive them for you. Allah is forgiving. وتوبوا إلى الله توبة النصاع Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincere repentance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins. والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة أو ظلموا أنفسهم ذكروا الله ذكروا الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى and those who remember who do a bad deed or a very indecent act and they remember Allah and they say only Allah can forgive me and who else forgives but Allah so long as they don't insist on continuing to do it deliberately and uh, stubbornly who is Allah's telling us so forgiving my mercy has overcome my anger all of these opportunities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us times in the day which Allah accepts repentance times in the day which Allah subhanahu wa accepts dua if you pray five prayers count it as fifty you're moving an obstacle off the road. It's like a sadaqah. Subhanallah, how many opportunities? Whereas the sayyah, a sin, is equal to one sin. You do major sins, Allah forgives them if you repent to Him. If you think of a sin, then you change your mind not to do it, it's a hasana. If you do it, it's just one sayyah. If you change your mind and do a hasana, instead it's multiplied by 70. What do you want more than that? So Allah is angry on that day. You know, when a father, to Allah belongs the best of examples. We're not comparing Allah to humans. However, just to bring something, bring a metaphor to your mind. A father out of his love for his son or daughter, when his son or daughter go wrong, they get angry. But this anger is not an anger of tyranny or oppression. It's an anger of love. It comes from love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is compassionate and merciful with His servants. So why? Why do we worship someone other than him? He says, Oh my servant, I feed you, but you thank someone else. I clothe you, you thank someone else. You live on my earth and in my kingdom, and you worship someone else. Subhanallah. So Allah is angry. As the Prophet ﷺ states, and then the day 
of true resurrection comes. And I will end it today with the ayah of the Quran that speaks about the beginning of resurrection. Allah recreates Israfil alayhi salam who is the blower in the trumpet. Allah says in the Quran, وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ نُفِخَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ The first time the trumpet will be blown and everything in the heavens and earth will be destroyed except who Allah wills not to and then it'll be blown into a second time and behold they are all up qiyam standing yanzurun looking and watching looking and watching it means everybody knows what's going to happen well they don't know what's going to happen to them but they know what that day is shakhisatun absaruhum their eyes are looking up like that with terror, Shaykh Hisab, like this. Jazakum Allahu Khair, Hada wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.